Hi everyone, I'm Matt Tenicola Antonio, joined by Terry Dunfield and Chantal Boy at the Ontario Soccer Centre in Vaughan. Tonight, no late game heroics for Toronto FC2 as they fall 2-0 to Harrisburg City Islanders. Terry, there were a couple of players on loan from the first club tonight. Goalkeeper Chris Konopka and defender Nick Haglin. What were your impressions of their play this evening, both playing in one half each? Yeah, I think they both acquitted themselves well. It's not easy for a goalkeeper to only play 45 minutes and, and maybe could have done a bit better with the first goal, but... Um, Nick did really well. He, he looked like he's ready to slide back into the first team at any point. Uh, you didn't even know he was out there, which is a good sign for a defender. It's a quick turnaround for Toronto FC2 as they will play New York Red Bulls 2 on Saturday evening. Chantel, what are some of the positives that Toronto can take from this game moving forward? Toronto came out intense. A lot of players got involved. They created the most opportunities they have, I think, all season. So going forward, that's promising. And Saturday, doing that against New York will be a great thing. It will be an 8 o'clock start on Saturday evening. Toronto FC 2 hosting New York Red Bulls 2. We will have all the action for you on torontofc.ca slash live. And for all of the post-game interviews from tonight's game, be sure to visit torontofc.ca.